Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to replace the front brake pads on a 2006 Ducati Monster 620 uh, and this is all you need. I'm using these brake pads right here, the EBC brakes, double H, these should be fine. Um, I'm replacing both sets, so I have two pairs. Uh, you will need a screwdriver, you will need a, one of these uh, ratchets, you have some grease for the brakes, um, you have some brushes for cleaning, you have the brake cleaner, you have a knife to open up this package, and you have this to pull out the pins, and uh, you have some cleaning. Um, so the first step to the whole madness is you take the screwdriver and you uh, open up your reservoir here, so that way you are not going to, uh, so when you're pushing back the pistons on your caliper, there's room for them to uh, uh, push the air back in. I'm not even gonna open it up all the way. I'm just gonna open it up a little bit like that. That's fi fine. And these were my old brake pads from the other side. They actually had a lot of life left in them, but uh, my brakes were making crazy noises. So I decided that it's time to replace them. Anyway, so we're gonna put this to the side here. The very first step is to loosen these calipers. And it's gonna be uh, a bitch. <clears throat> Cause I just know it is. Cause it was on the other side. <sighs> yeah. God damn. That was tough. Not very much excited about the other one. <clears throat> There we go. These are loose. Once the caliper is loose, you now can pull out your pins because that's just easier that way. I'm gonna just pull it out by hand, but easier with a pair of pliers. One. And then you pull out the second one. Boom. There it is. Both of them are out. Pretty important pieces. Don't want to lose those. And these are your, this is your uh, pin that holds your uh, brake pads. See, I pushed it a little bit. That's good. So now what we do is we remove the caliper completely. So we can take a look. So we can pull out those brake pads all together. Here we go. Boom. One. Two. I'm gonna put them over here, out of the way, since we don't need them for now. Same with this tool. And let's pull off the caliper. Wow. The caliper does not even want to go. Because it's freaking stuck on there. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. We're gonna pull out, push out the the pin. We need some pliers for the pin action. There we go. The pin is out. Hold on to the pin. The pads are out. So let me just put this back over here for now and inspect the pin, the pads. Weird. It's like as if they almost uh, seized on there. See? Interesting. And over here, it's not completely dead, you know, but it is wearing out. These are more worn than the other ones. My hands are all fil filthy now. Well, luckily the next step is even dirtier. So we'll put all this to the side. We're gonna take two of these towels here because we're gonna need them in a second. Now we take this caliper and we just try to clean it up. Oh, actually, before we do that, gotta push the pistons back. <clears throat> That's why we open up that little container up there, the little reservoir. Because, see, I'm pushing it back, and that is dripping up there. See, 
that's the fluid all right so now I literally just this is bad I know but I'm just trying to clean it in there a little bit particularly the pistons you know you don't really care about the other starts you can watch anytime but in there this is a chance just clean off the pistons make sure the axe they move smoothly in there nice good take your paper towel and you wipe it down looks pretty clean looks pretty good next step is to make sure these are pushed in all the way as much as you can good and then we just kind of take one of these let me clean behind here behind over there clean up all the holes make sure there's nothing interfering then we take a, a lip rag and just kind of spray the pen to make sure the pen is clean or a little cleaner. See, the pen was not clean. And then same with these little guys. I'm just kind of give them a nice little soak. So the following step is to open up your brake pads. We open up the pads, the knife can go away. The next step is to make sure you take good care of these pads. So we find a nice clean area and we take them pad side down and put them down. The next step is to take a tiny bit of grease and apply it like that. That's all you need. And just go nice. And I have a pair of rubber gloves in my pocket, but I, I forgot to start using them and now I'm just following through. I'm not using them. That's a lot of grease. But the idea of this brake grease stuff is to just quiet down the pads and to just make them smoother. And you don't need much at all. You just need just a tiny bit. The very next step is to take your caliper and to put in your lovely brake pads. First things first, we take this brake pad here, this one, this one goes in first, and then we can slide our little pin through and hold on to it. Take the pin. Make sure it goes through. Ooh. Nope. Too much. Like that. Push on the pad. Push through the pin. Nice and easy. And then you take your second pad. You do the same thing to it. You slide it through. Make sure it goes in its groove in the back. And then you just slide through uh slide through your pin. Make sure it's nice and apart over here the pin goes through like butter nice next step is to put in your little pins here we go Let's try it again nice ah, so we put them in from the back uh, I put the pins the wrong way and they were coming dangerously close to the uh, rotor for no good reason. So now we push back the pads. Beautiful. And now we line it up with the rotor. Make sure, making sure this is all spread out. You give it a plenty opening. You probably can't see a goddamn thing. But you slide it onto the rotor and then Take your bolt number one and gently guide it in by hand. Take your bolt number two, 
gently guided in by hand. Take your tool here. Nope. Tighten it. Just like so. And I don't have a torque spec for this, even though I have a torque wrench. So I give it a nice tight feeling. Snuggy, and eventually I could go over it with a torque spec. <laughs> the final step is to take your screwdriver and not forget to tighten up this little can, this little reservoir. We're good. Now let's test out the brakes. Make sure they work. Nice. I think the brakes work.